thanks for joining us today in the making of this beautiful and rustic bathroom. Are you excited to do a little bit of demo? Yeah. I want to break the toilet first. You want to break things? Yes. Toilet. Yeah. What else? Closet. The Closet. Wall. Tub. Fiberglass tub. A vanity. Vanity. We're going to make it pretty. Leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Dad? <laughs> Front row seat for dad. Okay, I smash. Bye bye. So here we are with the before of the bath. The homeowner actually had to kind of like break into this bathroom door to let us in the first time we viewed it. It was just an unused, underutilized part of the house that they were really looking forward to getting made over. And it's pretty compact, it's small, and we were making plans to just utilize the space the best we could. This closet here is gonna come out and be a part of the shower. This vanity is a smaller size, just an unstandard depth, and we're getting right at it. My littles love demo day. It was great to see this space open up and we appreciated how ambitious our little helpers were. These are the before inspiration pictures given to me by the homeowner. Lots of neutral tones, some shiplap, warm wood tones. It's We're pretty excited about it. So husband and I, Took our trip to Florin Decor, it's our favorite, and I gave the homeowner three sample choices as to what floorings might work for her, you know, her end vision. And she ended up choosing this last selection here with these designer tiles and beautiful mosaics. The pan is started. We built a secondary wall to the right to house the plumbing and the niches are framed in and the drywall repair has started. Well, with demo done and a design in place, we're starting with drywall work and getting that closet closed up and the hallway finished. We went ahead and put it into the bid to get the texturing and paint done in the hallway once we took that extra doorway out. And we're setting up the level here in the main walls of the bath to get things in place for shiplap to go up. We did use a paint stir stick as the spacers between the shiplap. We used underlayment sheets from Lowe's for this project and it was just a great way to incorporate that faux shiplap and not have to fiddle with drywall. The green board and the double niches are in place. We just have the puck lights hanging from the ceiling, but it's great to see this shiplap in place and we're getting a coat of semi-gloss white put on and I, we just love using the sprayer. It really does create a good coat of paint. The waterproofing has been applied to the walls here. My husband has the pan poured and everything's ready for tile. We just love the crisp white that's happening here in the bath and we're getting started on tile work. Now I didn't get a lot of tile footage. Um, it was quite a grueling long process, but here it is completed. We are starting the grouting process. We started in with the white grout. And so here you could see just the hazing of the thin set all over the tiles, but the white grout is completed. And we actually had to do a lot of prep and taping to go ahead and separate the brown grout on the wood tiles from the white. So tons of prep just to clean in between um, tile lines and things like that to get everything ready for grouting. It was a lot of, lot of prep, but you can see here all the taping and plastic. We did not want that brown to get onto the white or white grout and have it dyed or anything like that. So we've gone in and we've never done a two-tone grout. 
So you can see here how I taped the ceiling off. I double taped areas and just have everything ready. I wanted to share this process of how we tape and prep for this kind of um, application. Pulling tape is just amazing. This frog tape held up great to all the grout and the moisture of the sponges. But you can see here, I actually tape with not even an eighth inch reveal onto the white tile so that the brown grout kind of overlapped onto that tile. Make sure I get crisp um, corners and the edges when I tape things off and Overall, like it just looks so seamless. Everything's straight and beautiful. Taping makes all the difference. And this is the completed look. We just love having the white tile with the white grout and the brown with the brown. It just looks beautiful. It's so crisp, but everything was kind of delayed thanks to this, this beautiful scenery of snow and ice and craziness for us Oklahoma folks <laughs> our shower glass panel and mirror install was delayed so i'm just going to come in and start sharing some decor i went ahead and installed these brass hooks in the shower i wanted them actually in the stall i installed them pretty high the water flow doesn't go to that area of the shower and so i found some magnolia towels and have them hanging there and ended up buying a serena and lily teak wood stool like the dipped leg stool it's beautiful and here I'm just putting large rubber pads on the bottom of the stool legs just to protect the stool from water we weren't able to incorporate a bench seat so I thought this was a great option We love the addition of this extended neck um, waterfall shower head and while laughing at me, my husband said, can I please show you what's going on before you start recording and took a picture of my hair. I bent over and stuck my Italian fro in wet paint on the wall. So I fixed my bun and kept at it. So we have some decor being taken out here that I've gotten just Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, some Amazon orders. I really like the quality of these um, pumps, soap pump dispensers from Amazon. It came with like a clay tray, a little funnel to fill them with and labels and they have like a matte finish. I kind of like to not see the soaps inside. You're not limited to what you buy or what product you use. I actually really like this setup here with this long tray and the soaps with the greenery off to the side. I'm just placing labels here and I went ahead and put one that says lotion and one that says hand soap. So um, I ended up changing up the placement of which tray I use, but I do really like this. Looking back now, I'm going, ooh, that looks fantastic. <laughs> But without the wood tones, that would be framing out the mirror because we don't have that installed yet. I was thinking, oh, this little dark wood tray. You know, I was kind of seeing what would work best. I was just showing here how you can take it and she could use it on either side of the sink depending on how she needs to use her counter space. And overall, I really do think either setup is really attractive, very functional. Sizers and trays are just a great way to elevate and consolidate your items. I painted about three coats of semi-gloss white on this custom vanity and love the incorporation of the brushed brass hardware and the neutral tones that are in the custom laminate top. Overall, I'm really enjoying all just the, the combination of woods and neutrals and the mixed metals and the industrial light fixture. And I went ahead and incorporated some more provincial stain on the shelves above the toilet. We just went ahead and ordered brackets from Amazon and a two by 12 there for the shelving. And they're lightly styled, but here comes the reveal for you. We went ahead and added this barn door just for um, easy accessibility so nothing swung into the bath or the glass. Glass is now installed. That panel is beautiful and seamless. You're able to just see throughout the whole space because it's not very big and this just makes it all feel open. I love that big bulky wood frame around the mirror and love just the wood tones incorporated throughout the whole space. That little bit of brass, the beautiful vanity. Everything is just 
you know, pretty clean and simple. I haven't done a lot of styling here overall. I incorporated the few pieces as a part of our job, but then I'm just leaving the rest to the homeowner. So one of the easiest parts of this bathroom was all the painting, believe it or not. Um, the homeowner had um, a five gallon pail of a semi-gloss white that we ended up using everywhere. It was a good quality paint and we went ahead and incorporated it in the hallway, the ceilings, because we did a lot of resurfacing of the ceilings when we took walls out and such, and the shiplap, the vanity. So there was no breaking up of your like visual of seeing different color paints or anything. It was all semi-gloss white and it was so easy after caulking and just all the elements being put in place. It was all the same paint. So I absolutely loved that. That was just so much ease. So overall, we just love this space. It's just beautiful and I pray it just functions well for this young family. And I'm just really, really, really grateful to have this under our belt as contractors. We just can't seem to get enough of barn doors. They just seem so practical. We had a small opening here, it was only 24 inches. I went ahead and used a 36 inch slab. You could see the closure and what we ordered here from Amazon. It was like a $20 kit with the lock, the handles and the rollers. So you have good privacy. There's enough overhang on the exterior of the door that no one can peek in. And so I'm just gonna share just the quick befores and afters of the space. It just blows your mind <laughs> in a sense of how much of a difference and how this bathroom has transformed. I'm so grateful to have a place to share this uh, with my creative family here on YouTube. And I just look forward to maybe in the comments hearing what you guys liked best about this space. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.